hi there everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardinal. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, uh, we're playing, of course, one of the new champions that we have that we haven't showed off yet. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Uh, today, we are showing off Zane, Hero of Hydalia. Uh, this white champion, of course, you can exhaust if you declare an attack with a basic unit this turn. You put a card underneath this card, and if you do, draw a card. So you're just looting, pretty much. Then you put two cards from this card into the discard zone, and you create a, a token, which is a Warrior Light 1000 into play. And it's ba it's basic, so therefore it can help trigger all the other stuff. Yeah. So we are really harsh on this guy, but we'll see how good we can make it, I like, guess. Like, the more I read him, he's kind of okay, because you draw cards and you get free dudes, but yeah. in comparison to the other champions, he's not as powerful. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to be able to play things from the graveyard as well, so we'll see how it really works. Of course, the spirit is spirit of a... Uh, I always have a mini. Serve a mini. Serve a mini. It's the your patrona your patronus. What? Yeah, yeah. patronus. It's your patronus. So at the start of the game, uh, after mulligans, you may search your deck from the gear of the cost one and add it to your hand, which you will be able to do. In silvers, equip target gear from your graveyard discard zone to target you control, which probably won't ever happen, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, the first dude. Okay, yeah, this is all simple because they're mostly all basic. Yeah. So we have the trainee, which is a one drop, 1,000. Elf warrior. Done. Next is the warrior of hope. He is a two drop, 1,500 elf warrior. Basic unit. Next one, of course. Uh, Disciple of hope. Two drop, 1,000. Uh, sacrifice this card. If your opponent controls more units than you, put that target basic unit with cost three or less from the discard zone into play. Now with this, he gets sacrificed, and therefore he doesn't count amongst, you know. So if they have one dude and you have one dude, you can sack this dude to get something bigger. Because they have more creatures than you. Yeah. So that's how it works, and it's pretty cute. Uh, next is the Rainbow Knight. It's a 3-drop 2500. It is a basic unit. Those, those stats are good. All right, Warrior of Valor is also a 3-drop 3000, and he's an Elf Warrior. And he's a Warrior of Value. That's it. Yeah. Uh, next we have the Astral of Hope. It is a 4-drop 2500 Guardian. If you control two or more basic units, you may play this card from your discard zone as though it were in your hand. Yes. Sacrifice a basic unit, add target Astralic card from your discard zone to your hand. So it helps you get cards back, but mostly this is just a big dude that you can play from your graveyard. Yeah, and it's a Guardian, so you want to keep playing Guardians yeah. from your graveyard for sure. Astral of Valor. It's a 4-drop 2500. It's a Brawler. If you control two or more basic units, you may play this card from your discard zone, though if it was in your hand, the same way. And then you can sacrifice a basic unit, put a basic unit from your hand into play. So a smaller one that they're going to kill with the spell, maybe, and then you just swap them out. And then it's like, huh. Or you get to put in a free one from your hand with the big dude, with the, the free ones you get from your champion. So Yeah, exactly. So it should be pretty fun. And see how it goes. Uh, next is Aurea, the Fragment of Genesis, which is a 6-drop 4,000. It is a legendary astral. It's a brawler and a guardian. This card costs one less for each non-token basic unit you control, so it could be really cheap. Yep. Uh, arrive. Put up to two target basic units from your discard zone with your mind cost five or less into play. Once per turn, sacrifice a non-token basic unit. Recover this card and it gains immortal until this turn. So, yes, if you try to do this with, like, this costing a lot less isn't going to be really good for you because you have to put in dudes. Yeah. But if you get to play this on turn, like, I don't know, five or six for, for like three mana or two mana. Yeah. Great. And then bringing two things in. And then, of course, sacrificing this to make it immortal could be good, especially if it's a brawler and you're fighting bigger dudes with it, too. Uh, I don't know. On our review, I was pretty hard on this card, but maybe in a deck like this, it kind of looks it's starting to look pretty good. But it's because of the counterbalance of like the arrive trigger and, or, and the cost less kind of counteract with each other. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, this one, Radiant Arbiter, it's six drop four thousand. Uh, at the as an additional cost to play this card, you may exhaust any number of light units you control. If you do, this card costs one less to play for each, which can be really good. Units you control have Brawler and Target Attack. That's dudes afterwards. Ignore the effects of opponent's light tower. This guy is really good. I think this guy is super not busted but pretty close yeah he's real strong yeah because if you get him in play all your little free dudes that get made from your champion mm -hmm. they get to just be like hey i'm gonna attack that dude yeah because i can that guy is dead and now that guy is dead and yeah any of your other dudes have pseudo haste and come back and swing and kill something seems good 
It seems really awesome. Uh, next we got Ketsu the Living Armor. It is a one drop augment gear. Any damage that it would be would take is reduced by 500 on the equipped dude. And then whenever this whenever a light unit attacks, you may return this from the graveyard attached to that dude. And you can only attach one to a dude at a time. Yeah. But this is mostly for your champion, so you can discard this to him. Discard this to him. Yeah. And then it puts them in the graveyard, so you get this back for free. So you don't actually lose value, you just get this later. Yeah, and you can search it up at the beginning with your spirit. Yeah. And we, if you play light, you put this in your deck. I yeah, it card's super good. Because just... anything like 500 damage in this game actually means a whole lot. Yes. So preventing just a little bit of it is kind of ridiculous. Exactly. Uh, Asterisk Law, it's a one drop spell. Choose one if, you're put, if your opponent controls three or more units, you choose both, which could be pretty awesome. Put a token that's a 1,000 warrior into play, or draw a card for each basic unit you control. So, it's, yeah, that's all you just need to know. If you have four dudes on the field and you pay one and draw four cards, then that's a win. You draw five if they have three or more dudes because you make an extra one. Oh, yeah. It's... So you get to have lots of free cards. Just lots of free cards for one, and that's what you want. And it is an Astrolic card, so you can get it back with that big dude. Hey, there you go. Uh, we also have Astrolic Regalia. It is a one-drop augment gear. So you can get this with the deer as well. Equip to target unit. The equipped unit gets plus 500. Basic units equipped with this get guardian target attack and plus 1000 instead. So normally it just equips on anything, it's plus 500. If you put it on a basic dude, they get plus 1000 and two, two keyword abilities. It does not change the fact that they are a basic unit, so all your things that trigger off basics still work. Yep. And also just a one drop guardian thing that yep. makes it bigger is really good. Uh, Hydria Astralic Sanctum. It's a two drop location. Exhaust, pay one. Target light unit you control gets plus 1000 until the turn. If it's a basic unit, draw a card. And if it just stopped there, that would be the best. <laughs> yeah, super yeah. good. Yeah. It's it's tap, pay one, draw a card. Cool. And then Exhaust sacrifices card and a light unit. Recover target unit if the basic unit draw a card. So, therefore, if you have something big to swing in twice to win the game, you can do that too. So, this location is actually really good if. You work with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, next is Vindication of Valor. It is a two drop spell. It's additional cost to play this card. Sacrifice a unit. Destroy target unit or augment. If the sacrifice is a non-token basic unit, draw a card. So it's just a two drop kill spell because you need it. Yeah. And if you use a basic unit, you get to have extra card of And hopefully to be able to bring them back later. And of course, one of the best augments ever is Shining Shard Dagger. It's a two drop augment equipped to target unit. It gets plus 500 in quickness. And then that's it. Quickness is very strong in this game to be able to just come in, swing, and play, and win. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, with that, that is the deck. Uh, we do have one honorable mention, and it has Astralic Judgment. It's a four drop spell. As additional cost to play this card, expel any number of basic units from your hand from the, or from the field that you control. Destroy a number of units and or slash augments your opponent controls equal to less than the number of cards expelled this way. Then draw a card for each card destroyed that. So it's really weird. If you don't like your hand, then you can draw basically a new hand while getting rid of all their cards. Or you could do a mix of match of like, okay, this small dude, this small dude there, kill your two guardians, draw two cards. It's pretty ridiculous to be honest, but it costs as well. So it's kind of balanced in that way. Mm -hmm. So with that, depending on what your local meta is or who you're playing, you might want to think about putting this in the deck. Uh, with that, uh, the deck list will be down below, and this was the deck Square One, and hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.